a lot of people now are living not on, not in their purpose. You know, they're working jobs that bring no meaning to them, um, that are just to provide money for them. They're not using their gifts or talents, um, you know, and, so, and they don't know themselves authentically. Um, and once you understand yourself and know yourself, then you know your gifts and you know how you're supposed to, you know your path, okay? The majority of the world is not nowhere near that, okay? And so this is how, we, as we move to Asian Aquarius, Aquarius rules you, how we connect, you know, it's how we network with other people. But if you don't understand yourself and how you fit with other people authentically, how are you going to even operate at the age of Aquarius? You feel what I'm saying? Because that's the first step. you got to know yourself okay? and know how you fit. Right? Aquarius is about puzzle pieces. So you got to know what your puzzle shape is to know how you're going to fit. But the majority of the world is still changing their puzzle piece, trying to fit the world because they don't know who they are. So this is why these next few years are very important for us to heal a lot of issues around our self-image, who we are, you know, our authentic self, which is why Chiron's in Aries right now. And also, it's connected to Leo, like I just talked about, helping us to heal our heart, heal our inner wounding around self-expression. It's connected to the energy of Aquarius to help us to heal any issues around us moving forward to the future. So you see how the alignments help us out, but it's like we have to work with that, okay? Um, the energy is pushing us to heal and pushing us to step into our authentic self. It's going to suck if we are resisting that or going against that. 